So today I'm going to be putting a burning candle in my high pressure air chamber. The reason I'm doing this is because under higher air pressure, we should be able to see an increase in the combustion because there is more oxygen, the partial pressure of oxygen is higher, so you can actually combust more. But another cool thing is that one of the products of combustion is water, and so I'm going to try to pressurize the chamber while it's burning, and then release the pressure really quickly, and we should be able to see a cloud form. So I modified my vacuum chamber to allow me to put in high pressure also, to about one atmosphere. So with this chamber, I can either reduce it by one atmosphere or increase the air pressure by one atmosphere. So I'll be adding in compressed air. Okay, I've got my lid clamped on. So what we should see now if our pressure chamber is working correctly is that as I increase the pressure in there, I've got a water bottle in there. The water bottle should get crushed down. So this will be about double the atmospheric pressure that we see now. Okay, water bottle in a high pressure chamber. Three, two, one. <laughs> yep, it works. <laughs> okay, so that got crushed. And now I'll release the pressure. It should pop back to normal shape. There we go. Looks like it's working. Okay, so we've got the candle in our vacuum chamber. Let's increase the pressure. We're already starting to see some condensation on the glass here, but let's increase the pressure and see if the candle gets brighter. Here we go, letting in the pressure. Looks like it got a little brighter. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lit out the pressure quickly and we should see some condensation quickly form in the air. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so the reason this happened is because in the chamber we had some high pressure warm air and as soon as I released the pressure, that high pressure warm air became cooler because as you expand a gas it cools and that cooling condensed the water out of the air forming a cloud. So this is the same thing that happens in the atmosphere when warm air at higher pressure hits a mountain range, it gets pushed up into a lower pressure area and that expands the air and it cools it. And so that causes the water vapor to condense out of the air forming clouds. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comments section and let me know what else you'd like to see me put in my high pressure chamber and I'll see you next time.